Today, I'll show you how to create a Spotify-themed PowerPoint using the Morph Transition. Here I have all the assets I'll be using in this video. If you're interested in learning how I created these, click on the timestamp in the description. First, we'll create the gradient by drawing a rectangle. Then go to Shape Fill, Gradient, More Gradients. Select Gradient Fill and apply a directional gradient like this. Remove the extra gradient stops, keeping only two. Change the right gradient stop to white and pick a color from the first image for the left stop. Set the transparency to 100%. For the outline, I'll apply a black color. Repeat this process and place the images on the rectangle like this. Now we're going to arrange the images. Insert a new slide and arrange the images vertically. Select all the images and center align them. I'll cut and paste the title here and duplicate the slide. We'll drag the image and rectangle to adjust their sizes. Make the rectangle larger and increase the image size slightly, leaving some space for the button graphic. Paste the button in both tiles onto the slide. Increase the size of the purple and white tiles by pressing shift and dragging the corners. Place the purple tile next to the image and the white tile outside the slide. Position the button below the image. Copy and paste the purple graphic on the previous slide and move it outside the slide like this. Now select all the vertical images and bring them down slightly. Apply the Morph Transition and check the effect. Perfect. Duplicate the slide and move the first purple elements outside the slide to the top. Adjust the second image the same way we did the first and bring the white tile back in. Before duplicating the button, open the selection pane under picture format and rename the button as shown here. This step is essential to ensure the morph transition works correctly. Duplicate the button by pressing Ctrl plus D and rename it as Picture 2 with two explanation marks. Paste the red album tile outside the slide and shift the vertical images down. Duplicate the slide and repeat the process for all remaining slides. If you want to skip ahead, the timestamp is in the description below.
Let's create the button and tile graphic. Start by drawing a circle and give it a white color fill. Now draw a line. Press and hold shift while dragging the line to keep it straight. Go to insert, icons and select the outlined heart icon. And for the play symbol, we'll select the filled option. Give both icons a white fill color and position them on either end of the line. To convert any vector into an image, you'll select the elements, press Ctrl C, then right click and select Paste as picture. To create the tile, draw a rectangle shape with rounded corners. Fill the shape with a color and paste your text. Finally, convert the tile into an image using the same method. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more creative tutorials.